hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to start a series of videos what I call scrapbooking 101 <coughs> sorry and I'll try to show you how to start scrapbooking and doing making your layouts without having to buy any scrapbooking supplies um, you can use things you have around the house, you have to open your mind, go around the house and look at things like this may work as an embellishment, this may work as a background paper and you will realize that there are a lot of things that you have at hand that can be really really useful. For example, these paper bags from the supermarket. I got, first of all, let me tell you, my advice is start with 8 by 8 inches pages, layouts. They are easier to fill with the picture and just a few elements and uh, helps you to use less um, items and supplies and um, it will make it easier for you to make your first layouts uh, in kind of a breeze. So from that bag I got two 8 by 8 background papers. Of course one of them has the name of the supermarket but I'm going to use it in the back side. This one has this part glued here but you won't notice it once the, the, the layout is finished. You can also use let me get rid of this. Um, wrapping paper. I have these papers here and I'm going to show you how I use them as uh, background papers, as embellishments, as borders as photo corners, etc. Um, so, as you can see, you don't have to invest any money. I'm going to use, if you have a box around, like this, you can use the back side as matting paper for pictures, like I'm going to do in this case but this is going to be in, in a layout some other time. Then, what I'm going to use are these color pencils to distress the borders of the pages. And, uh, well, let me show you. I got these background papers from those wrapping papers. I got a title for one of the layouts from here. I got this and I'm going to use it as a title. I got embellishments like this hat. From the chevrons I got photo corners like the one you just saw, sorry, this one. I got a border that I'm going to use by the picture. I got flowers that I'm going to use as embellishments from this paper, like this one and this one. From the Celebrate, besides the background paper, I also got a nice border that I can use on an, another paper. Of course, I got one word that I also can use on a picture or by a picture. And then I use 
some old business cars that, that I had and I used the back of one of them for the layout I'm going to show you in a while. You see? And I'm going to use this part as an embellishment for another layout. I'm going to cut it here. And I also got from the Celebrate, I also got this embellishment. And um, one, other, one other element that I'm going to use is this measuring tape. It's a paper one that I have. I don't remember where I got it. It's a very old. Whenever I find things like this, I keep them because I know I can use them as embellishment, believe it or not. If you go to IKEA, they have those paper um, measuring um, tapes. Keep them. <laughs> believe me, keep them. Another thing that is very useful to find embellishment are magazines. For example, look here. This can be a wonderful border if you are um, working with travel fo uh, photos or pictures. Here, if you are do making a, an Easter uh, layout, you can cut this here and you have another embellishment, another kind of... You can place a picture here and leave this space as a decoration. And uh, here, here, this is another thing that you can cut out and use it in a travel layout. So it's a matter of going to uh, your rack when you have your magazines and uh, look and look carefully, and you will surely find things that you can use as embellishments in your layouts. Okay, let me move this here. This also, I'm tidying it this area a little bit. And let's go to work on one layout that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you another one in a future video. I'm going to make a layout with a picture of my mom. She passed away many, many years ago in 1983 at the age of 60, very young. And uh, I think she was a beautiful, beautiful woman. And I love her to pieces and I miss her to pieces a lot. So, okay, let's start. This is the picture I'm going to use. This is another thing that I use a lot those clips. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to use this background paper and these pieces of paper that I cut out from a wrapping paper roll that I showed you before. First of all I'm going to adhere the picture to the matting paper that I already have here. And I like to position pictures in different ways. So this is another thing. Usually when you have money or you can afford it, um, you buy um, those uh, self adhesive, -adhesive uh, rollers, tape rollers. Um, you can use glue dots, but they are expensive. So as I told you, I'm trying to work with things we have at home. You can use um, these sticks. I don't know if you pronounce it yoo <laughs> um, I really don't, don't like them because they are perfect. They, uh, they are perfectly. But you know, when you are applying them, you have to use a surface, surface, sorry, and if you are playing it, 
you usually go out of the borders. It's very, very hard to keep applying it inside the borders. And then you have some adhesive on your mat, and I don't like that. So, what I suggest you to use is simply school glue. Elmer's in this case, whatever you have at hand. So, well, now I'm going to the other picture. Of course, all the other products that you buy that are for scrapbooking are much better because they are especially uh, made to preserve the pictures, the papers, and everything. So, obviously, it's much better. But if you don't can't afford them, don't have the money, or don't want, well, it's going to last a long time anyway. So. Don't worry. Okay. Now let me adhere the background paper, the matting paper to the background paper. Let's say here. Another thing that looks really good in the layouts is distressing the borders of the paper. Especially in this kind of paper. If you're working with the one that I showed you before, like this one, you can distress it. The product that you that the scrapbookers use is usually chalk ink. Well, we are working with things already have. We don't want to use any uh, scrapbooking um, items or supplies. So I use this coloring paper, a coloring pencil. I already did three borders and I simply distress the borders with this pencil. It has to be something imperfect because it's a distressing so this makes a real difference I think then we're going to use these pieces as borders I'm going to apply just a little bit of glue Okay, well, here we go, here I go again. <laughs> and the other one, I'm going to place it. As you can see, it's taking shape. So now, I had, as I told you, these um, business cards that I was not using. So what I did was to make a tag out of one of them. I cut these borders. I adhered some uh, satin ribbon 
If you don't have it, you can use twine, you can use paper, or you can simply draw something here. Then I made these stitches all around. I'm going to finish. And I wrote this sentiment. If you have some button or any other circle, you can adhere it here. And I'm going to place it like so. I like how it looks here. I forgot I wanted to place this in the picture. I hope it's not too late. Another detail. You can add some uh, ribbon. You make a knot. I don't have more than this, uh, more of this uh, ribbon, but you can make just a knot, a small one, and adhere it here. Also a button, or leave it like that, twine, whatever. And then, from that paper that I sh also showed you before. This one is wrapping paper. This is from the Dollar Tree. Most of them are from the Dollar Tree. I cut out these flowers and I'm going to use a little bit of this um, cardboard. You see, I just fold it three times, maybe four, depending on the effect you want. And I'm going to adhere it here and you will see what happens. I want to give it a 3D effect. So I'm going to put some glue here. I'm placing this in the center of the larger flower. Press it a little bit and then it needs more glue and more time. And then I'm placing this flower on top. Of course, I don't have enough time to let it dry, but you will. And then you have a 3D embellishment, like those you can buy at the store. And I will add this here. Again, it would be great to add some detail in the center of the smaller flower, as I said, maybe a button. Um, and um, also, I don't have time to do this now, but it would be great to use a darker color, for example, something like this, or in, in blue, like the borders, to paint some of the petals, some of the petals of the flowers. but I don't have time now. It's just to give you basic idea of the things you can do. So this is basically what you can end up not using anything that is specially made for scrapbooking. Um, I think that it needs something here, but Honestly, this is what I can do right now. 
But anyways, this is because I have problems with the negative spaces. I, I think this is a beautiful layout without anything here. But it's up to you. If you like more things, more embellishments, you just as I told you, look around, look on your magazines and you will find something. If you like simple um, layouts, this is perfect. And you spend nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So, this is the layout I wanted to show you today. In the next one I'm going to show you another one that is also made with all things you have at hand, not having to buy absolutely anything. And um, I hope this will inspire you to start scrapbooking and um, make your own creations without investing a lot of money or maybe any money. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and you will be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.